Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you an alternative way to essentially bring data from DynamoDB into essentially Apache Hodi transactional data lake. Now, in my last video, I essentially made um, the entire architecture with infrastructure code of stream processing. So in scenarios where you don't need uh, data in the Apache hoodie, maybe in real time, a little bit delay is okay. Then this is the right architecture for you because in this scenario, you're gonna save a little bit money. In my last architecture, we used multiple Kinesis stream, Lambda transformation, and a glue streaming job to stream the data. And we were processing the streaming data. In this architecture, basically, we are gonna do a more batch oriented processing. So let me show you the architecture. This is a project demo. And in the next video, I'll have the complete hands-on step-by-step guide. Okay, so let's get started and see the project, um, um, project, right? So the first thing that I'll show you is the architecture. Uh, you have your source database, that is your DynamoDB, where all your um, transactions are happening, that is insert, update, deletes. We're gonna capture that using Kinesis data stream. Um, now using a fire hose, uh, we're going to deliver that data into S3, uh, right? That's our draw zone. Uh, we're going to use a Lambda function that as a transformation. The Lambda function usually takes the data um, that is a Dynamo JSON will basically convert that into a, a regular standard JSON. And once that is done, now it's going to add housekeeping field. For example, the region, the source, the event ID, the year, the month, the day. Now, this once the data is transformed, it's gonna return back to the Kinesis Firehose, and the Firehose is gonna deliver nice parquet or big files into S3. From that, we are gonna use Glue to take the data from these raw zone, process it, and have it in our Apache Hoodie uh, transactional data lake. Now, the reason for doing Hoodie is uh, again when you update, insert, or do any actions in the Dynamo, it will be captured by Kinesis, by Firehos, and then in the S3. And then when you query, you will have multiple records. You will have insert, update, delete, right? But I don't need that. I need what is the state of the current. Um, so what I'm trying to say is I don't need duplicate values. I basically want the most up-to-date data. Um, that, that's what I want, want to do. So when you basically run the glue job, your hoodie table will always reflect the most up-to-date data what is in DynamoDB. That's basically the goal here. Uh, so again, here we are not doing stream processing, but a more batch-oriented processing here, okay? So let me show you a demo, right? So uh, I'm gonna make a step-by-step -step guide as well, but let me show you the, the demo, okay? So again, I have wrote all this infrastructure code. Again, uh, this is my Lambda function. Here I'm uh, creating all the resource object. Here you can see an S3 bucket. This is a Kinesis data stream. This is the entire infrastructure code for Kinesis Firehose, right? Using Lambda as a transformation. Here is the DynamoDB. Again, we're gonna do a hands-on um, step-by-step guide, right? This is a glue database. Here is the crawler, everything, right? So now I have a file called generate fake data. So this is gonna generate a lot of data into DynamoDB table. Again, this is my DynamoDB table. Uh, quickly wanna show you. So here is my DynamoDB table. Again, this is your OLTP data database, right? Um, so now I'm gonna start inserting data at a very high rate, okay? So I'm gonna insert 100 records. Again, as you can observe, very fast I'm able to write data into my um, uh, DynamoDB. Here you can see at a pretty rapid rate, the data is going into Dynamo. So at this point in the architecture, uh, we are inserting, updating, deleting items in Dynamo. Those items will be captured in the Kinesis, right? So they, they are gonna be captured on the Kinesis data stream, right? And then to the Firehose and then the Lambda will be transforming and it will essentially insert on S3. So just to show you again, uh, really, really very quickly, uh, I will try to open up my Kinesis and data stream. And um, here in the data stream, uh, if I can just refresh, and show you the matrix so sure i'll be getting all the data as you can see i'm getting data if needed i can also view the data so for example just to show you right i'm gonna do a get record here you can see uh, my data is coming into the kinesis data stream that's great um, here we have a delivery fire hose which is gonna deliver the data to, into s3 so uh, again really quickly so configuration so here you can see we are we have enabled a transformation and we're doing transformation with a lambda so that means that the data is going to take the data from dynamo standardized flatten uh, are going to add some housekeeping field and essentially deliver it to s3 so um, as you can see now the firehose is delivering the data into s3 that's the bucket and here you can see date and then here i have a fold, uh, folder called table name is oltp year month 
uh, and then these are my files that I need to process with Apache Hodi. So what happened is as again, uh, if I go back to my Firehose, uh, so here you can see in the monitoring section, Firehose is receiving data from the Kinesis, right? And then essentially it's gonna, uh, the Lambda is gonna process that data, right? And then essentially deliver to S3. So here, uh, where is the S3? So here on S3, we have that data. So the next part what we do is we catalog that data. So basically we're gonna use a glue crawler to identify the underlying schema, right? And then we're gonna insert that into the Hodi table, right? So basically now showing you that process. Again, we're gonna do a step-by-step -step guide as you can see. So here I am running the crawler, the glue crawler, right? And this crawler is gonna basically run and again, it did create a table. So if I go to the database section, if I go to the QADB and if I just simply refresh, uh, here I can see a table name called OLTP. Again, uh, here if I go back to Athena, and I close everything up here quickly to just show you. So here uh, I would be able to query my data. Again, this is a uh, uncurated data. Again, you will have a lot of insert updates, duplicates, right? Uh, here you can see um, all my data. Again, insert, update, remove, all action is there here, right? Now, basically what we need to do is basically since we have cataloged the data right now we can run glue jobs to essentially insert into a transactional data lake uh, so uh, as you can see uh, let me share my screen so that's my table name that is the dev.oltp now what i can do is I'll, I'll i'll basically use glue here again i'm using a notebook to just show you sort of a demo here uh, so here i'm creating a spark instance let me zoom in a little bit so you can see and uh, over here, as you can see, QADB, and I'm giving the table name. So I'm essentially reading the data from a catalog, right? Um, so now this is gonna read the data as a glue data frame. So I'm gonna run that cell. Uh, this might take a little while, uh, it was fast. And then what I'm doing here is I'm converting the glue data frame into a Spark data frame. As you can see, I'm gonna do a show, so I can show you, right? Again, this is uh, how the data frame looks like. Again, I'm zooming in so that you can see things a little better. And then I'm dropping two columns called event name in AWS region. I don't need that uh, on my hoodie, right? So I'm essentially dropping or you can perform your cleansing op operations here. And then I'm again showing you the data frame. Yeah, this is how the data frame looks like. And, and now what I can do is uh, I'll simply insert into the hoodie table. Again, on S3, there is no folder um, called hoodie and hoodie tables, right? So if I quickly go to S3 uh, over here, again, on the root directory, I don't have any uh, hoodie folder here, okay? So now I'll basically run this cell, uh, hopefully the bucket name is correct. And now uh, we are converting the Spark data frame back to a glue dynamic frame. And then basically we are inserting into the hoodie table. Once this cell is complete, uh, now I should have my data into Apache hoodie, that is transactional data lake. And as you can see, it worked great. And if I go to the database section, and if I click here, I should see a new table called hoodie. I'm gonna refresh here. Okay, here you can see the hoodie table. Now, this is my transactional data lake. I can perform my insert update deletes here. Now I can query this data, of course, using Athena. As you can see, I have all my data over here, right? So works absolutely flawlessly, right? Uh, I have all my data, my PK, here's my PK, all the columns that we had in DynamoDB, now in Apache hoodie, right? Uh, so let me show you one last thing. Um, so what we can also do is uh, I can actually try to search this one. Hopefully it works. But, uh, so now I can come to my DynamoDB. I can query. Uh, I can do a query operator, uh, and I'm just gonna query with my PK. And here you can see that's the record. Uh, try to do it. Uh, for example, first name Jessica, last name you know whatever the last name is. And if you observe our Apache hoodie, and uh, that is uh, here. Uh, yeah, there you can see Jessica, right? It's the same person, right? So basically what you have seen in this demo is a complete end-to-end -end pipeline, right? Basically we have our transactional transaction happen happening in DynamoDB. We are basically bringing them into S3 and from that we are essentially running a bad job, a glue job, which is gonna do incremental data processing and essentially gonna perform insert update delete in our data lake. That way essentially our hoodie table reflects um, the actual state of what, uh, actual state, right? So that, that way my DynamoDB and Apache hoodie table are always in sync. Uh, again, uh, you may opt for this model uh, uh, in scenarios where you don't need the data real time. Uh, um, 
again uh, you can run this glue script uh, on a schedule basis on one hour two hour three hour five hour six hours depending upon your use cases but if you have if you want the data to be synced in near real time then glue streaming is the option but if you're okay with a little delay then i think this is a great option to also um, uh, approach this right on this option you essentially save money since you're not running the glue job 24 7 you're doing a more batch processing so uh, but again you're doing incremental processing as i said right so you know you're not loading all the data in the memory right so basically every time you read the data you have a glue bookmark so you're always processing incremental files now as a note what you can do is on the raw files where the fire is delivering you can set up lifecycle policy so that automatically after four or five days once you process that data, it will automatically pour into a Glacier Deep Archive or essentially delete the data from S3. That way, your FODI table is where you have all your transactional uh, data link. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'm going to do a deep dive step-by-step -step guide. So hopefully, anybody who wants to learn can learn uh, by watching my video. So this is just a demo video and the next video will be a complete hands-on guide. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.